Taurus. You're reading Get Flicks. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. You are the best. If you're feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to pull from this Energy Oracle deck, see who is a part of this narrative, and then get further clarity through tarot. Oracle cards first. All tied up. Healer of Ages. All tied up. The Healer of Ages. Okay, that sounds kind of crazy. But well, shit been coming down today, sounding kind of crazy. Healer of Ages. 44 was on the clock. The Temple Path. Indecision. People do it. I guess they get some form of indecision spells. They're trying to keep you in indecision. I don't know. These motherfuckers come up with all can and shit. You be like, damn, could you use that same energy to do something positive? But no, they cannot because they're full of fucking shadows. Happening all around the world. The same song. I knew it. I just said, if this reading come up like the last two readings I just did, a whole bunch of people deal with this shit. Especially in uh, soul flame separations. Y'all got a lot of hidden enemies. Action. And Kobe about to kick back up. So I guess people will take action towards the second wave when they see bodies start to drop. That life get real like a motherfucker. Y'all got the temple path again. Y'all want to take action, but some of y'all are feeling restricted and all tied up. Yeah, garden any gate. I think Virgo just got that. Somebody just got that Virgo or Leo. Financial constraints. Somebody is causing that. Y'all could be taking action on shit, but don't feel like y'all getting nowhere. Somebody is causing that. Somebody somewhere working some damn magic with these stupid ass. We don't see who. Who in the world, you know, is stopping you from taking action towards the temple path? That means y'all want to go within. Y'all want to be better. Y'all want to be right. Somebody don't want y'all to be better or be right. They want you to stay the same old person. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that intrusive like a motherfucker? Like, bitch. Ooh. Virgo energy. Virgo's going through the same shit. Fourth house, Cancerian energy. That came up, too. And somebody else is reading Cancer energy. Virgo, heavy Virgo energy in this reading. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo birthday, September 2nd, September 9th, September 17th, uh, August 29th, September 12th, September 1st, September 7th. I think I said September 9th. September 3rd, September 8th, September 11th. Pisces, Neptunian energy. So a lot of people are being restricted by Piscean energies. They refuse to clean up their karma. They're just hurling shadows, shape-shifting crazy motherfuckers. Anybody bad a story? Scorpio. Some of y'all may be in a twin flame separation from a Scorpio energy. This is purification to resurrect the secrets of, resorting from the power of, the extraordinary power of prayer. You could have a Scorpio praying for you that you do take action towards bettering yourself and purifying yourself and resurrecting yourself. The highest and lowest aspects of, you could have enemies that are blocking you from going within that are Scorpios as well. Control the situation. Some of them are controlling your movement and not in a good way. But then you got some people that realize what you're going through and they are controlling the situation through the power of prayer. Who blocking this temple path? Who is blocking your temple path? Who is blocking towards temple path? 
Damn, look how that came out. They blocking. This shit got stuck just like this. This how they blocking y'all. Uh, Aries energy blocking the fuck out of y'all. Immediately they need to move before they die. Now they connected to your actions. So they got something to say about you want to love yourself and resurrect yourself and purify yourself. They got something to say about it. Their desires is who you were. Because this say who you are. So they don't like who you're becoming. They project themselves. They doing it their way or how they feel like. Do it on your own. So they won't help you either. But they'll hinder progress. They won't help you, but they will hinder progress. If some of y'all got a Taurus in Sharon, it's definitely for you. You need to check that out. To see if you got a... Um, placement of Taurus in your Sharon. They ego is so so they would think they write in exact like a motherfucker. Cause some of y'all like what? But this is y'all, but this is about to turn into the Pisces and energy or a shape shifter. They don't necessarily have to be a Pisces, but they're definitely a shape shifter. Look into where your Neptune is at and you may find the cause of who the fuck is on bullshit. You were like this and you are like this because you're like, oh my God, I just want to get myself together. I want to be better. Why the fuck can't I take action and get better and evolve? They're going to turn into this because they're going to come to some form of realization. They're going to get grounded with the shit they've been doing and then all of these swords going to become mental activity and going to drive them the fuck out of crazy. Leave them to their devices that they've been playing games with. Snakes in the fucking grace. Fork tongue. Say this to one person, say that to another person. And it's all with your name, man. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Some Scorpios are for you, they're not against you. But it's some Scorpios that are against you and not for you. And they feel like they on top by keeping you stuck. And then some are really your people, your friends. High priestess energy. Some of y'all are high priestess, but I'm definitely putting y'all up on game right now. Y'all like, oh my god! Well, somebody could be blocking y'all from a high priest injury in any form of separation, and money is what's blocking it. And they feel like you don't have enough, or they just injecting themselves in something that they shouldn't. It's not their business. It's not their business what you do with your life, but they make it their business to be in your business and block your blessings, like literally. Sitting in the middle like this, you're blocking somebody from getting to somebody else. Some of y'all just want to get to this high priestess energy. Some of y'all's with this highly intuitive. Y'all may be the one that's highly intuitive, but they like, what the fuck? It ain't nothing keeping me from them. I could go talk to them. Why the fuck can't I make the connection? Because there's somebody standing in the middle of it. Muse of emotions. That's what this card reminds me of. And that tone is definitely linked to emotions. Nine of voices. Y'all try to sleep it off, but it don't quite work. You wake up and it's the same fucking narrative. No change. The tower is on the fucking way. Neptunian energy. <sighs> Let's see. Image, they, they all about the image, impressions, so they all about the look, what others perceive of you, they jealous of what, how other people love you, check your rising sign placement, that may give you a clue on who this motherfucker is, they gonna catch bad karma, some of them have your business card, and doing shit with your business card, if y'all got business cards, they work in some form of magic with your business card, they even jealous of the way you dress, and they jealous of your brand. They just jealous of you as a person. That's weird as a motherfucker. Neptune endings, trends, end of an era, imagination, illusions, darkness, past lives, 
They don't want y'all to co-create with nobody. They really got an issue with how people love you. Flighty, and it's a karmic tie. I don't feel like it is anymore, but it once was. With whatever energies is blocking you from taking action on your own healing. Snakes, though. Everywhere. Hey, some materials. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got the money. Y'all just want the mate. And they blocking you from getting to your mate. Ten of emotions, ten of cups. They blocking you from your emotional fulfillment. They don't want you to be emotionally fulfilled. These motherfuckers are sick. Queen of emotions. Could be a Cancerian energy y'all trying to get to. Or a Scorpio. Scorpio did come up. Or a Piscean energy. It's definitely good and bad in those signs that I named. Friends and foes, you know. Hmm. It's all about them. But they swear it's all about you, but you can't even make no real moves with emotional fulfillment, healing yourself, or nothing else, because it's just blocking you. And some of these people are highly intuitive. Mm -hmm. Connected to a past life. You have known each other before. Somebody you're in separation with. And somebody that's your enemy. It's a past life thing. Causing past life regressions. Which means they keep taking you back instead of you being able to take action and move forward and make a change, a real change. Have any form of new beginning. You just keep dealing with the same shit and can't really, you know what I'm saying? Have it all come together where you got the money, the love, and the happiness. They don't want that for you. A new start is coming. So, <sighs> whatever new moon is coming up, a new start is coming after that new moon. Look it up and see. Moon phase and sign. See when the next new moon is. I think the new moon in Virgo just passed. It may happen the new moon in Libra. Justice, you know. Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. Some of y'all got enemies on y'all jobs that's in your motherfucking business like they be with you when you get off work and shit. You don't even kick it with these motherfuckers unless you at work. Some of y'all are due for a promotion or you trying to move up the ladder and you have what it takes and you could, but these motherfuckers, they blocking you. But they're saying it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, and support of changing your job or promotion. Adjustments are required. This came up in reverse. It's really no adjustments that need to be required. It's just motherfuckers that need a goddamn mind adjustment and move the fuck out the way. Need a personality adjustment. They sick. Whoever don't want somebody to be happy and it's none of your business is a psychopath. The high priestess, powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. When the high priestess card, priestess card pops up, I think of myself, and you should be at peace with this reading after you get it, or some form of resolution will come, or some of y'all are high priestess energy, or some of y'all may have a Scorpio that prays for y'all, a lot that y'all are unaware of that's a high priestess energy. That see what y'all going to. There be angels unaware everywhere. Y'all can have angels on y'all jobs or where y'all work at, and they just see what people are doing to you. And they go home, or they pray for you on the job, or pray in their car. They really do. They want the best for you. And you don't even have to know. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, ex extremes, and how you save or spend money. And they blocking y'all money sector too. They think they clever. They really do. It ain't no adjustments to be made because you're all trying to do better, but it's somebody hindering progress, hindering y'all from evolving to being a better person, and y'all just can't believe it. Y'all like, what the fuck? Who does that? But, uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. All right, Taurus, I pray this helps somebody. 
And if you're feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.